The lightweight and portable Panzerfaust III has been in the focus as of late due to its use in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Volunteers of the Ukrainian Territorial Defense have been equipped with the German origin grenade launchers. Panzerfaust III is one of the several anti-armor vehicle weapons made available to Ukrainian forces by the West that also includes Javelin and Enlaw. As per some unverified reports, many tanks and armored vehicles have been neutralized with the weapon. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Panzerfaust III could rain terror on Russian military. Let's get into the details. Oil is at $130 a barrel, which means gas is reaching $7 a gallon or higher. Wheat's at a record high thanks to 30% of the world's supply now being unavailable, which makes your grocery bill higher. Real estate's in a massive bubble and gold prices are only being driven up because of global conflicts. So we need to look for another option because investing in uncorrelated assets is super important. In fact, a diversified portfolio is referred to as the holy grail of investing. And that's why I'm excited to introduce you to one asset that's been quietly added to the portfolios of billionaires for generations that's great for diversifying. It's blue chip art. For the first time in history, investors like you and I can get access to this asset class thanks to our sponsor, Masterworks. They let you invest in shares of blue chip art by artists like Pablo Picasso, Banksy, and Basquiat, like you'd buy a stock in a company. They're the first to securitize a painting with the SEC and have already achieved a billion dollar valuation. And so far, they've sold three pieces, with each realizing returns of over 30%. Although, legally, I have to add, this is not a guarantee of future performance. If you want to check out Masterworks, my subscribers are getting priority access. All you have to do is click my link in the description and you can start diversifying your portfolio in minutes. The Panzerfaust III series of launchers is a compact, lightweight, shoulder-fired, unguided anti-tank weapon series. Panzerfaust III is essentially a newer version of the World War II era Panzerfaust. It allows soldiers to penetrate all forms of tank armor thanks to its use of shaped charged warheads. It consists of a disposable canister with a 110 mm warhead and a reusable firing and sighting device. The DM-12 and DM-12A1 projectile consists of a shaped charged warhead and is filled with Octol-7030. The tandem DM-22 warheads are made of PBX octogen, including the propulsion unit. The penetration performance of the Panzerfaust III is due to the shaped charge principle and the quick response of the percussion fuse. The effect on the target does not depend on the impact velocity. The Panzerfaust III is light enough to be carried and fired by one person. However, earlier variants were described as being excessively cumbersome and uncomfortable. Furthermore, the firing mechanism was prone to jamming. It can be fired from enclosed spaces since it does not have a significant backblast. The rear of the tube, filled with plastic granulate, minimizes the blast effect by the so-called recoilless countermass principle. The booster propellant for the projectile in its tube is ignited by a bolt via a spring mechanism. Once ejected from the launcher, the projectile coasts a safe distance and then the rocket motor is ignited, boosting it to its maximum speed, after which it coasts until impact. The gunner carries at least two rounds, while the assistant grenadier carries an additional three rounds. The ergonomic design of the controls, such as handles, launcher, barrel shape, and optical sight, is a predefined standard. All controls are easy to handle in all shooting positions, lying, kneeling, or standing. After the weapon is fired, the firing mechanism with the attached optical sight is removed and the barrel thrown away. 
the firing mechanism is reusable. The effective combat range of the Panzerfaust III is from 15 to 300 meters against moving targets and from 400 to 600 meters against static ones. An optical sight with line pattern fixed to the reusable firing mechanism enables it to engage moving or static targets. To ensure night combat capability, a night vision device or residual light amplifier can be set up in front of the optical sight. As a safety precaution, the built-in fuse for the warhead is released by a safety mechanism. This arms the warhead after a flight distance of approximately 5 meters. Once armed, the warhead will detonate on impact or when the propellant is exhausted. This safeguards against live ammunition staying around and causing hazards to all in the future. Many Panzerfaust III variants have been produced over the decades, the first being the PZF-3T, developed during the late 1990s. It was a vast improvement on the original. It introduced the dual hollow charge 3T tandem heat warhead, which included an explosive charge in its spike. This pierced explosive reactor armor ERA, allowing a second warhead to damage a tank's primary armor. As with the original PZF-3, it was most effective at 300 meters against moving targets and at 400 meters against stationary ones. The PZF-3T was followed by other variants. Of the most effective were the PZF-3T600 and the PZF-3IT, the latter of which could defeat heavily armored tanks with ERA. Its newest variant, the PZF-3IT-600, can travel up to 600 meters thanks to its Dyna Range Fire Control Unit, which assists with sighting and targeting. Other notable variants are the PZF-3LR with a range of 800 meters and the ability to penetrate 700 millimeters of armor and the Bunker Faust, an anti-structure version designed for urban combat. It uses a 106 mm tandem high-explosive dual-purpose HEDP rocket that can break through buildings, field fortifications, bunkers, and pillboxes. It's evident that Russia has underestimated the will of the Ukrainian people to fight and defend their land. While fighter jets, tanks, and advanced air defense systems need well-trained personnel to operate, weapons like Panzerfaust III can be used with limited training. Technically, all able-bodied people can use it. The weapon is very well suited for use in scenarios like what the Ukraine-Russia conflict is throwing up. The Russian military is trying to capture cities where buildings, etc., provide excellent hiding places. This makes the situation ripe for close-quarter ambushes not only on primary military vehicles like tanks but also on fuel supply vehicles. There's no doubt that Panzerfaust III will be a lethal weapon in the hands of highly motivated Ukrainian fighters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.